Uh, certainly, you, you always appreciate the opportunity that the, the, and the blessing of the parents that trust you, send you their kids for the next four or five years. So, uh, to me, that's more exciting uh, than anything. And then when I see them come here on campus and run around, then you know you actually get to see what you got. But uh, no, we like we address the needs. The four DBs were crucial for us. The, the three linebackers, the, the three D linemen. Uh, so on, on defense, I'm very very excited about the the not only the quality but the quantity of the spots that, that we needed to address. The one thing I noticed is you talked about in every position was physicality for the guys. They're big yeah. and strong and they can get to that lane. Talk about how important that is to now in today's game, especially over Yeah, you know what, it, it doesn't, you know, it, it maybe doesn't define you because there's guys that are 5'10 and are good football players and 5'11 playing in the NFL. But when you're trying to make decisions uh, based on, you know, percentage-wise of a guy being a solid player, you, you obviously would rather go with the, with the length and the size uh, than just, you know, hoping that that 5'10 guy. Doesn't mean they can't, all right? But we can kind of play the odds and, and uh, way to get that length that we identified as solid players. How do you feel needs that you wanted to feel with this group, Coach? Yeah, the number one, we probably need to keep looking out for another offensive lineman, okay, or even two, but we've got 14 on scholarship, so we feel good. Where where you got to keep an eye on is, is two and three years from now. Uh, it won't affect us next year, but two and three years from now. So, like I said, you, you'll watch everybody on Twitter, and everybody, nobody's going to ever say they don't love their signing class, right? They're, they're your kids. You, you bought them now. You got them now, right? So you got to be happy with it. Uh, but once again, from a playing standpoint, you know, you'll know more in two years. From a competitive standpoint of who they were recruited against and, and the offers and stuff that they had, you know, that's a good feeling to know we walk in there and we've got facilities, we've got, you know, the one loss record and the University of Tennessee degree. Uh, not everybody chooses us. You know, we didn't get everybody that, that we offered that we went after. But as we always say, we got the right kids that, that want to come live in our Martin environment and, 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 and be a part of it. So I appreciate that. Coach, what was going into the decision making process to sign more skill players than you signed offensive and defensive linemen? It was more it was more the amount of numbers of scholarships that you had. You know, you we graduated four wide receivers or three, three or four, so you needed to at least get two. You graduated uh, D line and you like I said you graduated four, so you needed at least three. So it goes based on the numbers of, uh, that you've got coming back in your program. And coach the the ability to get Dresser when to sign here with the university uh, not only got a great player, Mr. Football, but the atmosphere that he'll bring and the local people, I know you're proud of that. Well, I am excited about that. I mean, you know, we, I, I would fill the stadium up, uh, or I would fill that locker room up with nothing but West Tennessee kids if I could continue to recruit those that are good enough to help us win a conference championship. It's just we have such a small population of people. Obviously, you know, when you go to Nashville, Memphis, or St. Louis, or whatever, you've got a bigger, uh, bigger field to choose from. Um, you know, but Dresser had told us a long time, you know, here's what we tell kids, and there's nothing wrong with this, okay? There's no player in this program that didn't grow up dreaming about playing in Notre Dame or Clemson or even Knoxville, okay? And that's that's okay, all right? But at the end of the day, if UT Martin is, is gives you an opportunity and those schools do not, then come make this your Florida State, come make this your Clemson. I think in this situation, that's what Dresser did. And I appreciate that from him. And so now, you know, we were talking the other day. Now let's go break off Derek Carr's records. You know, let's go win the the Peyton Award. You know, and let let's 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 go be be Steve McNair of Alcorn State. Do that for UT Martin. Now, you know, not to put too much pressure on him, but you know, you don't want to sign a quarterback that doesn't have those type of confidence and, and that type of vision and dreams of himself, uh, because you want the rest of the, the program to feed off of him.